his Locust Form, though. It looks like they're going to go for the engagement. Yeah, they could jump in right now, and here comes the stun against Shihu. They're going for him, aren't they? Here comes the silence at the same time, and of course, Illidan is already in the back line, jumping straight into the Void Prism after it has been casted here. The first hero already dead, and now it's a 5 versus 4 in favor of Gamers 2. Once again, the strafe being used, but Illidan is dead already. It's a 5 versus 3, and just like that, Gamers 2, the Polish team, are going for the kills. They're trying to go straight for Splendor, who jumped away to Shrimpy, but another kill. It's nearly complete wipe as Shrimpy, the only one surviving. And they're getting the nice little stun here on, oh my god, can they take out the EDC? Trippy trying to disengage, he's going to be successful in doing so, but that's going to lag out their team for a bit of time. That means that the boss is going to be free reign on the e wow. There's a mosh pit, but it's not actually doing that much, it's only catching Yovo right now. And Leo from Rear coming back in, can they end the game? Yes, they are going to be able to. 50% and gone, 30% and gone, and it looks like Gamers 2 turning the series around. Very, very true. In general, the talent is also just nice to, you know, de-push a few of the lanes. You get a lot more siege damage in as well, so that helps you. Oh, that last gravity lapse there, turning around and putting Unstable into a really awkward spot. Sylvanas is down. Vala is being safe. I can't believe that Vala got saved there. I already thought she was dead. In this case, now they turned around, killing Brightwing, killing Sylvanas, jumping on BKB, trying to get him as well. The Dwarf already hopping up to the front, trying to get another Stormbolt in and maybe a Thunderclap. But the turnaround here, nice damage from Underlandy. Also the slow of course. Tyrell is coming back. He has his heroic ability on cooldown though and it looks like he won't be able to prevent this fort or this keep from dying. Oh nice ice block by Ah, Jaina goes down regardless and look at those flame strikes and also the living bombs of course. That ignite talent once again just like paying off. Oh man Andy Landy was just barely about to escape that but just at the last second that flame strike so well timed with the ice block, was able to finish him off, and I can't believe this. Gamers 2 is coming out absolutely on fire. They've got a burning rage about them, and they're going straight for the course. Sevkuk also going to go down here. Kunichen trying to stay alive, and you know what? They're like, fine, stay alive. Do what you want to do, because we're going straight for your course. Six seconds, five seconds, until Jaina and Sylvanas are back up. They need to end this really quickly, or they could potentially turn this around, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think they're going to be able to save it. And it looks like Gamers 2 could take game number 2. Really well done. We're going to see a third game here. Such momentum for the Polish team. They tie the series up and we're going to jump into game number 3 at the end of the storm. Six sports here of Gamers 2. They need to start taking out some of these sports because that's not just experience. That's a whole bunch of map presence as well. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a huge engagement. A four-man void prison. immediately. And there's a four-man void prison with the Hydralis Blast. Going to do so much damage. Kunichan taking a lot of hits, but it's going to go down as well. Here's Gamers 2 trying to re-engage, but ADRD taking too much damage. Yova trying to go on in here on Andy Landy. Can he finish the job? No, unfortunately not. Wow, that Void Prism, unfortunately for them, they didn't have any kind of big follow-up, only the Hinderlands Blast, but now ADR, and then suddenly Gamers 2, after that Dragonite was taken by Arthurs, was able to stop that momentum, and now they're trying to turn it around, they're really loving that, but Shihu is so low, here comes that Water Elemental again, good Void Prism against 3, helping Shihu here, he goes for Avatar, uses Stone Form, he's immediately being attacked again, look at Tyrael flying in, going for the Judgment, Hinderland Blast, oh my god, the Beetle is still alive! The beetle lives! I cannot believe it! He should have died 20 times over in this fight already in the last one too, but he still lives. Yuva is trying to move in. Ancestral healing already being used. Yuva trying to get more damage in. The pokes are real, but what a battle sham too! They keep going back and forth. There's just continually doing damage. The, the ice block at the last second from Andy Lendy to block out the storm bolt. Absolutely amazing. Still actually hit the other person on the other side of the ice block. But still, they are going back and forth. I can't believe Shihu is able to survive as long as he has. Same with Kunichan. Both of them have been the ire of so many different heroics from the enemy team, but they survive. They are a they are the embodiment of the song, I Will Survive, and they're doing such a good job in these fights, keeping both their teams alive perfectly. I don't think I've ever seen a battle go on that long where nobody died. Looking for opportunities, they are still the only team that has lost a keep so far. AD already at the top, he was flying in, taking the shrine, they're trying to take it, and they get it! They kill against Jaina on top of that as well, oh 
god, this is bad news. They're rotating to the bot lane, trying to get the shrine there, but now in the mid lane, that Dragon Eye, 24 minutes in, is starting to make his way over. They are going for core, aren't they? They're trying to finish the game. They have a Dragon Eye. It's a five versus four. They're going straight for it, trying to drop the core here, and just look at that Dragon Eye hammering away and doing the extra damage to Siege. I don't think they can stop this. I don't think so either. Meanwhile, the rest of the might of Gamer 2 get to run around and just harass all of the other heroes here. There's the judgment going on in here, but they're just completely ignoring the Dragonite. Shihu going for the core as well, and that's going to be game number three going on over to Gamers 2. Very well played. They take the winner bracket final.